Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me shoot some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube. Are you passionate about sales? Do you have commissioned sales experience in broadcasting and entertainment? Join the A Better Broadcasting and Media Sales Team. Submit your resume to abetterentertainment at gmail.com. Visit abetterbroadcastingandmedia.com. For more information, call 346-335-2861. Follow us on all social media platforms at 92KLZ. Opinions stated by various contributors to 92KLZ, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open yes, mind. Yes, sir. We back in here again. It's Sunday night. So you know what that Hello. means. And if you don't, you about to learn. Get ready to take. <laughs> Welcome to the garage apartment. Sports and entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant Adar Jones. Running on empty, but I'm here. And as always, I got the tribe in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tell them who you are. <laughs> that boy, Mal Mizzle, need a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Need a haircut, Jones. D Mac, back and better than ever. About to relive my youth a little bit later on. <laughs> or, or, or retire, man. Hey, don't quickly. put that out there, that bro. <laughs> yeah, you know. Reliving the youth about to flow. Sorry, I didn't have no extra basketball shoes. About to take it back to our Scarborough Championship days. Come on. Hey, play them Chucks. You should play in the Chucks. That'll be awesome. First off, that's exactly what he should do. I don't own Chucks. Chucks. Second off, I won't play in Chucks. If I own Chucks, there's a reason they they don't play in Chucks no more. Because they are still available. I saw somebody tweet, Glenn Rice is the greatest basketball player ever. Glenn Rice? Yes. For playing in some Nautica <laughs> Teddy okay, Shoes. Okay, I mean, Sonics, bro. Uh, what was it called? A-Sonics? E-Sonics? E-Tonics. Was E-Tonics? That was a horrible. Dream made Tonics, though. But, but those, no, but no, those like, are athletic shoes. E-Tonics were shoes. actually basketball shoes, though. Nautica is not a basketball shoe. Nautica can make basketball shoes. I can't hear anything in my headphones. Ladies and gentlemen out there, I can't hear nothing in my headphones, so. But let me finish oh, yeah. the show. Anyway, yeah. we're here each and every Sunday night. Can I be heard, though? Yeah, I can From 6 to okay. 7 Central Standard Time. Hey, had I played this some slides? Why you can't play no slides? Because I'm not we back beat, in my Lanier days. So I can't we play no slides. We and Cali. And yeah, I, I really in can't hear, huh? You can't hear? I was in the middle of something. Thank oh, you. Oh, no, literally. Can't hear nothing in the headphones, though. Nothing. <laughs> Be sure to check us out each yeah, and every Sunday night worthless. from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Also, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. We got some amazing articles on there. We got some interviews. We have videos. We have uh, recordings from previous shows. Be sure to check that out. Subscribe to it, too. And it's gonna get bigger and better over the summer. Absolutely, and be sure Way better, more always better. to check us out here on 92KLZ.com. 92KELZ. New music, new artists, new sound, and the garage all apartment. the time, and the garage apartment. Yeah, no, I'm talking about. Always. So, hold on, I'm almost finished with my movie review of the movie Screwball. Wow, you fantastic did. film. I actually wrote it up on Word first, so I didn't have no embarrassment. <laughs> Uh, and I watched the documentary again yesterday. On what movie? Screwball. It's uh, the documentary about uh, biogenesis and A-Rod. A-Rod is a, is, oh, is a scumbag of the highest order. <laughs> yeah, I have so was. much more respect yeah. for him now. now. he's with he J-Lo and, and his, he's not a scumbag. No, he is. J-Lo's no, a scumbag a... too. <laughs> if she's dealing with that dude. Look, P. Diddy show <laughs> thinks so. If she's dealing with that oh, dude. Man. Mark Anthony just went raw enough. P. Diddy still A-Rod, lurking. Still lurking. A-Rod is a gangster for real. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what the problem was. Mark ain't a little oh, too. Oh yeah, little he was too, uh, a little, little too clean. Too feminine on the boys, huh? Oh my God, a rod. Yeah, she rebrands her relationships every like four years. Yeah, yeah. She rebrand her body too. Hey, I mean, hey. nicely. <laughs> That's why they work so well. So, fellas. First off, how was y'all's week, man? Week was very good for me. Uh, I know I don't say that often. I was going to say, man, I'm, that's refreshing to hear. Yeah, I had some change at work that was, I Hold think, on. is going to be positive. Hey, I have uh, one real week left. Kids were doing good. I I'm have be, one uh, real week I'm left. I'm going to be doing field day next week. Oh, um, be careful, brother. Oh, oh yeah. God, oh, yes, my God. Yes. Be that's, careful. That's, that's, that's going to bring us to why we're uh, limping uh, in here. Uh, Oh, that's, God, that's please be careful. Off, that is what we with. shall lead off with. Oh, I just, hey, hey. Adari's not athletic anymore. First off, the crazy part was. At least not as athletic no, as no. these middle school You know kids. what's crazy? <laughs> was undefeated. In Did what? not lose. In what? Right. One game. Right, In LeVar. what? LeVar, okay. We won the, we won the, the tug of war. With you, Acre. Of course, of course. <laughs> we smashed. We smashed on every grade. We didn't play no games. That is not fair. We won the three-legged race. Ah, okay, that's an achievement. We yeah, won. We achievement. won the wheelbarrow race. Well, who is we? You weren't the wheelbarrow. My class. <laughs> you weren't the you wheelbarrow. Were the wheelbarrow. Uh, who was on this three <laughs> three-legged race? Who's, My entire team? class. Only had three legs. No, you know you, know you tie the, He probably doesn't. Yes, he does. Surely you know they tie their legs together, and they, so now they have three legs. How big is this field? Oh, it was pretty big, brother. It was pretty big. We was able to do all those. Where'd y'all do y'all's at? Because we're doing ours at Butler. Oh, no, we did it. Did, I, the crazy part is I don't know the name of the park. <laughs> but it was down the street from the campus. Anyway, uh, yeah, and uh, on my victorious tour, Somehow I aggravated my sciatic nerve, and I ain't been able to stand up straight since this morning. Oh, Until this morning, Until I should say. Morning, well, you huh? need to put, like, a compression around your calf, your right calf. Yeah, but it, the it's pain like, is in my lower back, and I know, it's like, but no, oh, my God, it's excruciating. Where, that's where the pressure, once it's put on your right calf, it, the sciatic nerve goes all the way up your back. So once you put it in your right calf, like, in the middle of your right calf, it it will in the middle of my right calf. Yeah, it'll it'll relieve the the pain for a little bit. It's Dr. Man. Jones over here. Yeah, Nicosi would be proud of you. Look, uh, Nicosi, your I uncle mean, know a little something. Hey, I love it. <laughs> he's uh, still my he's paramedic. That in the seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we learned that in middle school. <laughs> as for uh, my, no, if my somebody wanted to call my EMT. In. My what, what number would they oh, use? Oh, man, thank you, brother. We got a little distracted. 713-489-0688. Yes, indeed. If you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns. Shout out. Hate, birthday. feedback. Yeah, birthday wishes. Let us know how right we are, how wrong we are. Cash app right. is Garage Apartment. Okay. You could always send us money. Sure. Donations. Absolutely. No, but the phone number is 713-489-0688. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Say it one more time. 713-489-0688. So, we got them on. Go to State Warriors, fellas. They are what we thought they were. Mm. So, go ahead and crown them. Might as well. Everybody else is. Uh, Portland just ain't got it, man. I mean, I want to say. I don't think nobody got it with the Golden State Warriors. I don't know. Because I, uh, they're down. They're always down. So what does that mean? They, they're down because they shoot a lot. They shoot a lot of threes. They do the same thing the Rockets do. The difference is they make them. After they miss them, they start making them. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> um, and they, no, and the it's Blazers, two people that make them. And the Blazers are letting, like, everybody get double digits on their squad, though. Like, everybody. The Blazers when, don't play defense. When, what's the point? When well Cook enough. starts cooking, you know you're in trouble. They do not play defense well enough, and they have and I guess figured Oboy out, was, dang. And I guess O'Boy was their best defensive player. Thank you. They have figured uh, out that. The, the center that got hurt. Yeah, I guess he was their heart, their their defensive player. 
Because Harkless, he looks lost as Gerald but Green the out there thing, on defense. The, big, wow. <laughs> the biggest thing for me is <laughs> they are basically – I love, shout out to Gerald Green. I love it. Him on, him on say they should have been two one Portland. What? It How? Should have, it should have been. No. Come on, you had to call in and explain. <laughs> Just because you're up don't mean you have control of the game. Most they, of those times they, they weren't were. in control yeah, of the Lamar game. It was the healthy the game that was making runs. That comment. They were up by what twenty at one point. My thing is, game. do you blow it up? No, second game. Do you blow it up? What were they? The two C? Do you blow up Portland? Portland, the three C. No, you can't blow it up. You blow it up, but you also won't ever win. It would appear. Let me tell you why you don't blow it up. You got to. Because last year you got out. Last year you were ousted in the first round. This year you made it to the Western Conference. So and that the means year before that you made it to the no you almost made it to Western Conference. Yeah. So that means you're just a piece or two short. But not to mention and and what Toronto was in the finals three of the what last six years. And and could not beat one man, blew it up, and now it looks like they. Well, no, because they, 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 <laughs> they ran into the wrong man again. Ran into the wrong man again. Ran into the wrong man. That man right there. In the conference finals, you know what I'm saying? They have again with the blown up the team and got right back. Oh, but now, if you can get a better player, then by all means, I would continue to do that. What we do? Oh, we got a phone call. Ah, you pick it up. <laughs> it's it's the green button. I'm sure. No, it didn't. You just you just started moving the thing. Uh, call whoever, us back, whoever, whoever that was. was uh, call us back, technical please. difficulties. Yes, our engineers over here. We do apologize. Back, back. One more time. One more time, man. Seven one three four eight nine zero six eight eight. Call us. We would like to hear what you got. <laughs> Color number nine. You could re- You could win tickets to nowhere. Yeah, to nowhere. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, while we're waiting on that call to come back in. Our Sabercats got a win. I hey. saw that. Hey. Hey. Clap it up for the hey. Sabercats. They were so happy. They looked like they were so ecstatic. Like, I would be too. I was ecstatic. Yeah. So ecstatic. You know what? Game. I almost feel like I'm a part of the Sabercats too. I hey, man. <laughs> I, I, I follow them and I root for them. They're good people. They are. I guess their change at coach and ah. at, at forwards coach yeah, paid forwards off. Coach it did. And we posted that. Where did so, we post that at? Oh, then I just cut it off. At the again. garage apartment, yeah. Twitter feed, Instagram, and Facebook, Facebook. And yes, other, YouTube. Uh, Not really. He's YouTube. under the. He's on the underneath. Yeah. Hey, the but uh, uh, hey, who uh, 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 tell who who that is calling? I'm sorry, I keep hanging you up. That's Call one more up. time, one uh, more time. I see well, you calling. It is working. I'm messing up. Okay. Do it one more time. In other quick <laughs> rugby news. Uh, <laughs> Heineken Cup, the European Championship, Saracens won. That's a North London club. So ah. we, uh, that looks good for European competition coming up. So I got Arsenal and Tottenham. It's going to be a North London sweep. Okay, okay. Doubt that. As much as that hurts. You me. say Tottenham's going to beat Liverpool? He said yeah. Tottenham's going to beat London Liverpool. Already started. Saracens won the uh, And he said Arsenal's going to win the FA Cup. Uh, yeah, because you, did, you, did you see what Chelsea did? Chelsea said, okay, we in, so we don't care. You see, they played a friendly against the New York Red Bulls and started every starter. No, oh, wow. did they really start bo- the regular yeah, people? Yeah, and then your boy Loftus Cheek. Yeah, tore his ACL. ACL. I, I, I did I, I, hear that. Friendly match, and that was ridiculous. I saw who else, but I didn't know they started. Uh, they started the, the the first eleven. I don't know if there somebody was somebody some played sort of deal. the New England Revolution. That was and, Chelsea, and like and they, destroyed them. And they lost their starting forward too. Really? <laughs> was that on the same day when Manchester City made history? Nah, because that game was wow. Thursday. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Because Saturday, Manchester City was the first ever team to complete the domestic treble. Yeah. Otherwise no, that, known the as first the men's team. First, yeah, excuse me. Thank you very much, Pep. First men's team to complete the domestic treble. Really, they won all four trophies that were yeah. present in England. That's I what think that it was means. Arsenal ladies who actually had completed that was it? before. Yeah. Did not know that. I didn't either. <laughs> I anyway. like how y'all just skipped over the Warriors. Y'all don't want to talk about the Warriors. I mean, we can talk about the Warriors, about the Warriors. I mean, the Warriors I all we want. What you want to talk about? What? They going yeah. to the finals. Yeah. What, what are, are they? Portland's not going to win a game. Are no, they? I told y'all it was going to be a sweep before. They're, Everybody they're the Bulls crazy. of the team. I was just going to say, are they the greatest dynasty of all time? I don't know about all Man, time. I have a hard but time the, saying that, but they're I the Bulls, know all time. No, they're the Bulls of the of the team. Now I know that this is a different NBA. Yeah. A completely different NBA. I mean, you still have to win 13 straight. But, I mean, when you really rip it off, when you – so now, if they win this year, that's three in a row, right? 
Yeah. That's four out of the last five years. Yeah. The one year they did, that's five years in the NBA Finals. Five years straight in the NBA Finals. The one year they did not win it, they mm-hmm. won 73 and 9, although I tell lost you, to the king. You're right. Don't, yeah, mean, don't mean a thing. Oh, it means something. That means they're the best regular season team in history. Yeah, so that's what that means. And, and then, then they got Kevin Durant. Yeah, and then they had to lose to the best player of this generation. I mean, so are they not the greatest dynasty of all time? Now, I no. know not the Lakers, time, the Lakers have several. Yeah. The Bulls have their two. Kobe and Shaq did this run. Kobe and Shaq did this run. Kobe and Shaq ain't never ain't, – no, they didn't go four in five years. They won – they won what? Three. Three in five years. I mean, but uh, – Yeah. Okay, okay, so – And then they broke up. This team, for some odd reason, will not break up. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I know. Not only <laughs> break up. No matter what. All they don't them cheat. No, not only break up, they keep adding people. And, 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 and liking them. Like, for, come on, for man. Cheap. Where's the chemistry yeah. problem at? People that's be like, hey, yeah, I'll, <laughs> yeah. Take, I'll take a yeah, pay cut. That's what I'm rooting for, too. It's yeah. sad, but that's what we're rooting for now. I'll take a pay cut to but, but, a play. But check this, uh, because Ahmad just said what you said. Ahmad, uh, nobody's going to kill that eight peat that the Celtics Yeah, had. that's absurd. But, but at the same time, when you look at it. It was only eight teams in the league. It doesn't yeah, matter. You it, still it, have it to win really them. It doesn't matter. But, but hey. You but, still have to win, though. There's only two teams that can come. But for me, for me, I think that a lot of these dynasties are judged on the – uh, opponents that they had. That's why I even look at the Bulls kind of sideways because the Bulls didn't really have like an albatross. They, I mean, they, they had those... did, but the, the West was truly knocking themselves out. Yeah, but okay, because the Lakers had the Celtics that made them great, right? right? Uh, and the Pistons. You could say the Bulls and had the had the, the Jazz and the, and the Sonics. They only played them one time each. No, they played both of them twice. No, one time each. No, they they played, played the Sonics twice. They, they played, played the Sonics Jazz twice. They played no, the they Sonics didn't. once. They played Phoenix yeah. like three times. Nah, they, no, 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 no. they played Phoenix they, once. They played LA. They, they played, played Portland. LA, Portland, Phoenix. Uh, Seattle. Then the second time they played, they played Seattle. Utah oh, twice. Seattle they and Utah, Utah twice. twice. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Seattle and Utah twice. That's right. They played Seattle once. That's what I'm saying. They played Seattle and then Utah twice. Yeah. Okay. That's right. You know, so, I mean, the. I guess you can say the, the Cavs Knicks were the Cavs. The yeah, Knicks. Uh, yeah. What about but, the Knicks? But were the Cavs the uh, to who? Would that be Golden State's? I mean, because how many times did they play? The, uh, four. They played them four. All they played the time. Four. So that this would time. be their nemesis. Yeah, I guess. But they, they that wasn't the who was keeping them back though. Well, nobody kept them. When back. they weren't winning, they were losing to who? West the. Uh, Golden State. San Antonio? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, San Antonio. Portland? Well, not Portland. Who? Yeah, LA. San Antonio and LA? Yeah. Who? When who was losing? When they had Mark when Jackson was before growing. the Golden State when they was cold? Oh. Yeah, when they were growing. When they were focusing on not scoring? Hey, when not they, 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 they couldn't beat the, the Clippers? <laughs> when, when Golden State was growing, they had BD at point guard. Who was BD? Baron Davis. Although Super Baron was crazy. nice, I KD ain't gone. Like that. Iggy Real retired. Hey, NBA hey, he he. Clay. They were the first, what, the second eighth seed to be the number one. Yeah. When this he dunked true. on Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> yeah, that was ugly. Uh, no, so, that wasn't Dirk. That was a uh, AK forty-seven. Oh, well, that's you. Man, uh, that's a name. Man, Ooh, a blast boy. from the past. <laughs> hey, and that, <laughs> hey, when that happened, that happened, when that happened, that was the the start of the ending for him. Like he wouldn't. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was wow. pretty. Man, I'm sorry, whoever that was, Colin, call one more time, man. I promise, I want to hear what you're talking about. <laughs> Adari with that heavy hand. There really you go. Know. There. You... Nope, that's not him. Okay, so what about the East? I guess we got to we got to. Milwaukee about the East. is yeah, looks very like dominant. A player is extremely dominant. I don't. They pl- play a different brand of, of defense. Who are we picking, Milwaukee or Golden State? I'm thinking I'm picking Golden State, but I do I do see Milwaukee's defense being an going issue. Six? I see Milwaukee winning two at home, Golden State winning two at home, and then Golden yeah, State probably winning Golden the, State winning knocking the out three the game next series. Two. Yeah, that one means they have Milwaukee, to win one in, one in Milwaukee, home. huh? Or yeah, they got to win one in Milwaukee because Milwaukee was number one in the league. I'm, I'm saying, is it is it? Two three two or is it two two one 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 one? They went it back one, two one, three one. two, didn't they? Nah, no. I, think, I thought it was one 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 because they don't uh, have to worry about traveling no more. Why you gotta? Yeah, I think they got private plane. I think they bro- went back to the old school rules. 
Well, the old school rule was four three two. I mean two three two. Yeah. No, that yeah. was that was nineties. I mean no, no, no. that was eighties. No, when, when they were when they no, were no. flying commercial. Yeah, no, no. Two three regular. two. No, two three two comes in when they were taking trains. Yeah, yeah, when they couldn't even <laughs> when they had to stay in that city <laughs> okay, when, when you couldn't get to L.A. Yeah. that quickly when they were yeah. to go game to Before game you from, were from Boston. Going to L.A. That's back as far away she was going with Minneapolis. Yeah, you going That's to Minneapolis. You don't hear him. Two three two comes back to taking Amtrak. Yo, oh, man. Union Pacific. I was going to say. So we're going Golden State in seven deep? No. Against Milwaukee? Six. Walking? Oh, six. No. I got in five. six. Golden State in five. Golden State in five. Yeah. Golden State in five. That means they have to take five. one of the first two. Which could happen. Milwaukee has Milwaukee. been looking extremely good. So I think Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, win. yes. In game Milwaukee. three. In, whoa, in Golden State? No, no. Game three. Milwaukee was number one in the league, oh, Milwaukee bro. Milwaukee was. That's the only reason home. the Greek oh, Freak going to win the oh, dang MVP. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man. yeah. So, okay, maybe they'll take game one. <laughs> wow, did you say that? <laughs> maybe they'll take game one and then drop four straight. They Jesus. probably won't take any. Go ahead and call us in. Call if they in, do that and drop four tell straight. Us, tell us who you got. If you got Paper Mil- Tiger. First off, if you believe, go Amar to state. says the NBA Finals is 2-3-2. Two, two. Yeah, 2-3-2. Two, two. Who you got? The conference is 2-1-1-1. Two, two, one, one, one. Who you got, Hamad? Who you got? Milwaukee or Golden State? And in what game? Chuck Barkley said Milwaukee's going to win it all. Yeah. Chuck got to keep it interesting for people. Chuck, Chuck said what? Milwaukee's going to win it all. I mean, it could happen. I mean, it's very possible. I'm not sleeping on Milwaukee. If, if the Greek freak has a <laughs> amazing Finals, which he and very Middleton, capable of having, and Middleton like steps up and has an amazing final suit. It can happen. That's what they need. Um, they need Middleton to honestly. play ball, or they need they that boy Brogdon to come back. Like or, need to be. or and they need Bledsoe to blow up. Or if Brook Lopez <laughs> scores thirty a night, it okay. can happen. Okay, okay. I, did I, did I did my googles. I did my googles, and it's two two one one one. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so yeah. Which old is which, 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 which? That's which, old school stuff. Which is um, no, that, that's new school no, stuff. That is, that is that is 80s 80s. No, it was no two, three, 80s. Two they was two three two. Yeah, this is no, new school. that's it was 90s. Two that's, teams. This is this is 80s L A versus Detroit type stuff. L A versus Detroit was two three two. Was yeah, it? All I promise you. It wasn't. I promise you. How much you want to bet? <laughs> bet we, your back. Do. How much you want to bet? Bet your back on. Oh, we can bet my back because I'm almost Pause. okay. Yeah, that was uh, by hey, so anyway. So now you're listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. There we go. Who is that? We got a caller. Caller coming in. Welcome to the Garage Apartment. Yeah, you on with the Garage Apartment, man. Who is this we talking to? Finally, I made it. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like the king of R and B. The R and B king. Oh, I'm at the Garage Apartment. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that boy Hamad in the house. <laughs> The garage Finally. apartment is not complete until that boy is in the house. <laughs> so now, yeah. who you got? Who you got, Ma? Who you got? Man, it's horrible, man. It's whoo, that's hard. So many factors come into place. Well, break it down to us, brother. Okay, now see. I mean, obvious. I mean, the Warriors gonna be like the obvious, obvious choice because they've been there, done that, yada yada yada. But because the way Greek, Greek freak look. Like barking him say, he got to like shacking him say, he got to look in his eye. Yeah, he don't look like he's scared of these lights. Yeah, he but does. He's going to be scared of these lights. Man, when you can look at the arenas he used to play in, what you going to be scared of the lights for? Man, he, he used to play in the no he light. He got the experience. That's what I'm saying. He's Man, big, that boy didn't had to borrow shoes in a game before. He and his brother had to share shoes. What you scared of this moment for? That man had to play after yeah, hunting a lion. I'm a different monster. He played in Greece. <laughs> He played after eating some He's food. African, though. Yeah, he is. Where his parents are. So who you got, Maud? I heard you. You broke it down to us. Who you got? Like I said, Coach Bud don't mess this up. Then, then Milwaukee can give them a run. But that's why I say I can't call it right now. It's either or. Like I say, Warriors and six, Bucks and seven. I'll probably put it like that. 
So now I know you're a diehard Rockets fan. So come on, give us because we didn't get a chance to holler at you when I was on my tangent last week. What you what, oh, what, what you gonna say about your Rockets, Mike? Man, the moral of the story is <laughs> they didn't they didn't take advantage of the opportunity. That's pretty much the moral of the story. Yeah, it is. Come on, moral of the whole season. Years, That's pretty much the moral of the whole season, yeah. really. Come on, my take was basically, I mean, it, it came down pretty simple. Everybody's talking about shooting and defense, but they got out rebounded. Like when they needed a rebound, every, they every didn't offensive get it. rebound. That's true. Yeah. And that's what happened. And then Tony, that's what happened. Then Tony didn't want to put, oh, didn't want to put Fareed in. Exactly. Where was Fareed? He would have got more. He would have got some rebounds. You would have. He'd at least fouled hard. <laughs> he you got six of them. Defense, yeah. though. <laughs> Yeah, he would have got some. Good defense. <laughs> Nobody on the team plays good defense. Oh, oh man, God. well, P.J. Tucker does. Well, yeah, but I mean, you Who are got... you taking out? P.J.'s the five. You already took Clint no, Capella you... out. No, but okay, but why can't Capella? But Capella's Reed would have given him that right most that energy. At least for five minutes. Yeah. At least try it. Like, All right, what'd you say? If it don't work, then go get him. At least try a conventional power forward and center. At least try real yeah. four and five. Something different. Try something. <laughs> that ain't even different. That's just... That's the basketball. Play? That's basketball. <laughs> They're on your team. <laughs> you just put them in. Just play it different. Just see what happens. I mean, you know, jeez. Yeah. Well, Mar, Hamar, appreciate you calling, brother. As always, appreciate the love, yeah. man. Hey, what, what's the next concert you're going to? Yeah, where you at next? Next concert. It's the <laughs> summer, man. It's the summer. Oh, R&B is going to be hot. Did you go to Did you go to one twelve and uh and uh? Oh, you know one twelve and. Uh, they got postponed though. Uh, <laughs> oh, because of the weather. Um, I think because of the weather, I took it some. Hey, but... wasn't Joe here not too long ago? Joe, well, I know you went Joe to Joe. Joe lives here. You went huh? to Joe? No, Joe doesn't live here. Yeah, Joe and, uh, it's Carl Thomas condition. that live here. Yeah, it's Carl Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Carl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say Joe. They Joe. all got sound the, they the all hurricane. Sound the same to me. <laughs> Carl got caught in the hurricane. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, he got flooded. Emotion. Uh, man. Yeah, boy, was yeah. emotional. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, at least he just ran to Houston. Like, everybody else dealt with Puffy found religion and moved to Georgia oh, and all kind of crazy. They all went to jail, too. <laughs> and still broke. They was Some broke when they got, got there. They the broke when they left. In. That boy, G. Def, is still special <laughs> delivery. They went down to the precinct. Say, look here, man. I done seen some things. I got to get this off my chest. Ha. But hey, Hamar, did you watch the fight last night? Uh, I didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate you calling, bro. We finna get into that, man. Oh, and um, I did, I did my, I did a little tribute on IG. So check that out. Okay, uh, okay. check out what's your IG out. handle, uh, Mod? Oh, just my name all together, Hamar Jennings, lower capital letter. Hey, if y'all want to hear some good singing, check that boy Ahmad out, man. That boy ain't scared of nothing. You say he's scared of a high note, he'll go get it for you. He don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> in the truck, in the heat. For sure, man. We appreciate you, bro. All right. All right. Yeah. Slave, yeah. slave getting it. So now, we didn't brought it up. Those of you who don't know, or those of you who were, if you went to a a a, a fight party and you were parking your car you probably missed it yeah you had to be on time for this fight so uh <laughs> deontay yeah, wilder knocked out what is his name something brazil donna brazil donna, donna. not donna brazil <laughs> should be donna <laughs> she would be offended though <laughs> so it's like she'd have fought a little harder than he did hold on, hold on. Did y'all see the post? Uh, that boy oh, Jim Gray was hate. He got mad when Jim Gray, when he, when Brazil didn't want to come talk to Jim yeah, Gray. That boy I said, want to talk to you. Nobody, nobody wants to see Dominic Brazil. <laughs> no, this ain't no offense. No, if you got to say no offense after the fact, bro. Dominic Brazil, like, hey. <laughs> I just got my I did, lunch. I did stay in here for two two minutes seven seconds. He's like, my like lights just went out. You talking about me like that, man? So now, those of you who don't hey, know, that boy Deontay Rudy. Wilder knocked out. Do yeah, Dominique Brazil. Brazil. Donna Brazil, yeah. She would have had a better chance. <laughs> Two minutes and seven seconds in the first round for the WBC heavyweight championship. I say them. Uh, it was fought Ruiz in the Barclays and, and Wilder should have just laced them up right then and there. Yeah, the Ruiz probably could have still, with not warm and not in shape, could have went a little longer than that. That man looks huge, fool. Like he looks very wide. He Which one, like, Luis? Luis? Ruiz, Luis. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, look how that he looks, looks when he gets fat, in the ring bro. after a uh, after a training camp. So yeah. you could just 
guess what the dude walk around at. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that stuff is it's not amazing. healthy. Yeah, that, that cutting your body, man, that cutting your weight is but ridiculous. But that knockout no, came. Cutting, cutting weight is good for him. That knockout. <laughs> takes a lot of stress <laughs> off if you keep heart. it, though. Only if you keep it off. It takes a lot of stress off and heart. Clearly, he don't keep it off. His body be like, thank God for Big Bear. <laughs> oh, that man. knockout, though, came after they said that Wilder was hurt from a punch behind the head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the dude tried to, like, throw punches, you know, and, and, and I give him props for that, but he should have just ran. And maybe, but I mean, you know, it was a good, what, probably, what, 800 grand he probably made? I don't know how much he had to get Virgil Hill. He got my money. Because they were bragging about he went and got Virgil Hill, Hall yeah. of Fame trainer. Yeah. He got my money. Yeah. Sugar Ray said he the get hit man. Uh, <laughs> so what does that do to Virgil Hill? Like, what does Virgil Hill say? Uh, that uh, wasn't me. Scratch that from the tape, man. I just came to up. camp. I came to last month in camp. Yeah, I came to camp. <laughs> and then he didn't listen to me the whole he month. Didn't listen, he didn't listen to anything I said. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. You know, I couldn't. My bell was ringing. Yeah, so actually the entrance was more interesting than anything. The interest was I, longer I, 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 than yeah, the fight. He, come in? Uh, he had some contortionists. It was very weird. Oh. Them boys from Harlem? Uh, Deontay Wilder. Brooklyn? No, nah, it was some girls. Yeah, he was talking a he lot of... He had some contortionists. He had well, some girls with their shoulders on the other side of their neck. Yes. Alabama? Yeah. His, yeah. His, his, walk, his walk to the ring was longer than his fight. Yeah. I was he, saying. Had, he looked like Shredder off of Ninja Turtles because oh, he had a man. Yeah, it was time and studded. Yeah, he wears that one every fight, though. It was the Mighty Duck. It looked like the Mighty Ducks mask. It's like my name is Burn. <laughs> oh man, it was it was quite disappointing yet exciting at the same time, because now you can't help but wonder when is he going to fight Anthony Joshua? When is he going to fight? He said it's coming. And down. from the sound of it, it's not anytime soon. Yeah, because he was supposed to fight Fury here, but there. I was uh, say, when is he going to fight Tyson Fury well, again? Well, that's the fight that was supposed to be on this date, but their negotiations shut down. So. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Fury if said, "Man, look, you gonna have to pay me this time, yeah, homie." Yeah, and you're gonna have to come to the UK. Which I mean, I only think it's fair. Yeah, but he. But I wouldn't want to go to the UK for Fury and y- Joshua. Nah, yeah, yeah. So one of y'all coming to America. Joshua well, coming. And I just be here. I'm gonna say I just fought Fury, so Joshua's gonna you better to get on that here. boat, bro. Yeah, make his debut over here. So. I don't know. The crazy part is, I don't think Wilder wants it with Joshua. I really don't. Doesn't seem like he does. But that would clearly be such a big paycheck. You can't turn that down. You can't turn that down. You can take one loss, especially if it's to someone who people already call better than you anyway. Take that one loss, then you rematch that, give him his one loss, then you go back again for the third time, and now you're swimming in Mayweather money. Yeah, Ali Frazier, man. You can't help but mention Ali Frazier. Nobody expected Ali to lose that fight but Joe Frazier. Yeah. Mind you, that was the prettiest left hand hook I've ever seen in my life. I mean, and and Ali took a square on the chin and got up in seven seconds. No, mm. what, what in the three seconds? Got up in three seconds. Yeah. It was crazy. Hey, did anybody watch any golf? Yeah, we was watching it in here before y'all came. That yeah, boy Brooks. Brooks Kepka. Kepka. Huh? He almost squandered that gigantic yeah, he was lead. Choking. He was out there. <coughs> <laughs> He thought Tiger he was, was up, on his heels. He Tiger was wasn't even out there. He was, he was, yeah, he had a seven shot lead in the last, what, seven holes. But, I mean. Amad Jenny, that's the that's question. His, that's his okay. bet. That's what? Two in a row for him, huh? He was two last in a row, year, what? Oh, yeah. He was yeah. last year's PGA championship winner. Before we go back to the golf, I'm sorry. Uh, we got a question from a listener asking. Um, how you feel if somebody was talking about if Wilder could beat Lennox Lewis? I don't know. Lennox boxed, so yeah. he, he. I was gonna say it, it, to me, down. Wilder does not seem to be that skilled. Wilder, although what we don't know, not that, uh, compared to his contemporaries, yes, but compared to the boxing I grew up on. No, you're absolutely right. He's he not, not that skilled. He, he's he's a skill. he is truly a one trick pony. He's got a wicked right he's hand. He's got an amazing right. right hand and that's all he throws. Yeah. And catches every and time. And like you said, <laughs> Lennox Lennox Lewis was a boxer, yeah. was a boxing heavyweight with power. However, you also saw that when Lennox Man. Lewis got hit, yeah, he went down. He went down. Glass job. <laughs> Yeah, he fell to some. Uh, so I so mean, it'll be who would get if he'd get that right hand in or not. That's basically. I mean, he fell to somebody who had his ear mm-hmm. bit off. He fell. Uh, who? Lennox Lewis? No, Lennox Lewis beat up Holyfield. Remember? Why did you Lewis. say? Is, I mean, 
Lennox Lewis beat, beat up Holy Field and they called call it a draw. Experience. You don't remember yeah. that fight? He got beat by a man. He, he got knocked out by a man who proceeded to have a, a cry, cry in the ring in the rematch. Yeah, in the re in the ring the next match. Real problems, Oliver McCall. Oliver McCall, and then Hasim Rockman. Get your rock mud like Hasim Rockman. Which we watched that at Hamad's house. Yeah. <laughs> Rockman beat him in a street fight on on on, on up close. Yeah. And then when they got in the ring, oh my God, that boy! <laughs> you hit him with that. Yeah, I don't know what he was. He I, went into a, a a turtle stance or something. I don't, I don't know, know what that was he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> doom, doom. Yeah, he didn't have Virgil Hill. He looked like he. <laughs> <laughs> He, he looked like Kevin Hart trying to try to defend himself. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. Pretty wild. Oh man. So now we got a big week coming up for us next week. For Baseball those ball action. There you go. Those of you who follow us. Hey, so y'all should come out and see us. Absolutely. At we will Field. be we will be at the Southland Conference baseball tournament. Uh, at Constellation Field in Sugarland. So, yeah, if you are a fan of baseball, good baseball, college baseball, cheap baseball, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> come out and have a come good time with nice us. Ballpark. But it is a good yes, family, awesome ball family ball. setting. Like you can watch the ball, your kids can play. And Sam, South, 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 the Southland Conference puts on a good show, man. Like they really do. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves at the basketball tournament. Their baseball teams are pretty good. Uh, Texas A&M Corpus is actually a very good team this year. Sam Houston State is a pretty good team. Um, and it's the one more. I'm forgetting. Team, I'm forgetting. Yeah, they said their softball team is actually pretty good, too. Yeah. I'm forgetting one. They have three very good teams. I can't think of the third one. New Orleans. Central Arkansas. Ah, Central so Arkansas is Arkansas. very good with it. Abilene Christian's not good in baseball? Uh, That's surprising. It's <laughs> levels to the standard. I mean, so I'm just saying, it's surprising. We'll be thing. there next week. Where we also have the Thunder, not the Thundercats. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Houston oh, Sabercats final. Oh, yeah, grand, thunder, look, grand thunder. opening and final game, home no, no, game. No, 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 because they re, because they, they're going to Oh, they rescheduled the that game? Yeah, that's going to be that following Wednesday, the 29th. The one they missed. Ah. So the Sabercats also have a home game this week. Come this weekend, this Saturday, coming off of their fr fresh off their victory. Yeah. What was that? The second one this season? No, what are they? No, no, two no, and. It might be third or fourth victory. Oh, okay, maybe. okay, yeah, okay. It's the first one for a long. Time. So come so check them out. See if they can start a win streak. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. At home. Uh, shout out to Mike Lawyer, Moya, Lawyer, Moya, Lawyer, Mike Lawyer. Yeah. That dude is quite the character. I enjoy yeah. him very much. Yeah, hopefully, we we'll see our Kenyan and friends Captain and Captain absolutely and our Uruguayan friends. Yes, indeed. And hopefully, they'll win so he can keep his ticket. So he can actually <laughs> see them because my, right. my man said they keep playing like this. I don't know. I don't know. They are, I'm on the fence <laughs> right year, now. I don't know. They, they're know? a little soft. From what I, I saw, don't know. They from the roster like this, I, I saw, there's a, a Uruguayan uh, player. That's yeah, what he said. He said he knows them. He said he knows. That's why he comes to the games. They gotta play them more. He's like, I love this game, but I don't know. I don't know. He's like, next year, I don't know. I don't know. I bring my son. I don't know. It gets a little expensive. <laughs> so let's go, uh, Saber Cats. You gotta keep the got to keep the fans, man. Got to keep and, uh, the food trucks. Got to come down. A and bit. shout out to the referee we met that day. Who yeah, was well, that? yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The Austin. mate from Austin. Yeah. Good day, Mike. Yeah, he threw us off. We was like, he was like, "What's up, mate?" We was like, "Oh, okay, you from Australia?" Like, "No, nah, I'm from Austin." Yeah, exactly. we was like, "Whoa, like, you've been hanging around these dudes too long," <laughs> which is like us. Australia. Oh man, maybe you thought we were Fijian or something. Austin is weird, like Australia. So yes, they have a home game Saturday, the twenty fifth. That is the twenty fifth. Right? Uh huh, twenty fifth. Also, twenty dollar adult tickets, ten dollar kids. There you go. Also, awesome. next week. Next Sunday, be sure to check us out. We will have former Houston Texan hey. Wade Smith on the show. Former yes. Houston Texan, former yeah. Seattle Seahawks. Former NFL yeah. offensive lineman. Yeah. Isn't yes. he a Super Bowl champion? Uh, Did he win one with Seattle? Uh, uh, yep. You know, everybody wins when they leave Houston. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, be sure to check us out, man. We'll have Wade Smith on the show. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about the heat when we get when we get him in here. We cannot we cannot receive him. You know, sweating. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna talk to management 
and see about that because we don't want. We'll talk to our operating. We don't want uh, Wayne to tell everybody, man. Don't go nowhere near. Operating specialist. Yeah, unless you're trying to cut weight, don't go up in there. And then the following week, we will be at the showdown in H Town. Oh yeah. Uh, with our boy Ralpho Ebokwe Trouble, Ralpho Trouble Ebokwe, uh, with his rematch me. with Wait, whoa, what? What day Alexis is that? Got Somebody else's name was Trouble That's June too. First. Ah, uh, yeah, I know Dominique Brazil. Yeah, yeah. that boy yeah. had that trouble. Oh, he sitting. found trouble. He, he yeah, had he that did. Trouble sitting he right went looking for trouble. Too, man. I take our trouble over that. Yeah, trouble. I think I think <laughs> I think we're gonna have to tell Trouble to change his name. No, 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 no. He's man. the real Trouble. Yeah, he just has to. Uh, he nah, was in uh, trouble when he had to cut weight. Uh, yeah. My beautiful daughter was like, Daddy, why is he so flabby? I mean, I felt good about it. I was like, hold on, I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you got She's like, Daddy, he got knocked out because he's so flabby. I was like, yeah, baby, he's a very big man. And, he and had his to hands cut, were down. He had to cut a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. That's why and he's he was flabby. And throwing that wild, but that was just a... And his hands it's almost like oh, he gave up. Oh, now, I don't know if he two, gave man. up. I don't think he gave up. I just think he shouldn't have been there. I think he realized when he got punched the first time at the top of his head, he was yeah. like, oh, I'm in here with somebody who hits <laughs> hard. His punches hurt. <laughs> yeah, like Mike Tyson said, everybody, everybody got, got a game, game plan until they get, get hit in the mouth. The That's right. Man. Yeah, man. And like a sissy. He <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Shout out to Mitch Green. <laughs> that boy say Mike Tyson is like, oh, oh. <laughs> You are listening to the Garage oh, Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7. Six hey, did anybody see the, the Wu-Tang documentary? Man, I'm, I'm I saw planning the first on watching episode. it very, season, very first soon. First episode is pretty nice. Well, you got has an interesting uh, Mike Tyson story. Or does he really? Don't Mike, spoil it for me. Well, uh, this, this, this is all over the news. Okay, we're well, going because, because it involves sports. And, well, let's and go. And his famous sporting superstar. Of course, you guys spent his young years in Brooklyn. Okay. And guess who robbed him and his mama when he was eight? Oh, shut Get up. Get out of here. And pulled his mama's earrings out of her ear. Oh. Get out of here. A young Mike Tyson. <laughs> hey. How does he remember that? How does he know that that was Mike Tyson? Because uh, that man was like, you know, can we get money? At, at, at eight, eight years old. He was like, can we get money? old, if somebody had to rip your mother's earrings out but of I'm her But I'm how ear. does he know that was Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson's a very distinct looking fella. And a sound. Uh, give me your girl, girl. And, <laughs> and plus, being in Brooklyn, I would imagine the stick-up kid in Brooklyn would be very... Yeah, and I Brooklyn, think that's what's so crazy in New York. They know uh, they know each other, for real, for real. So like, why would he the stick them up? The real really 50 Cent was a legend. What do you mean? You rob people, you rob people in your neighborhood. Because you can't get to the other. <laughs> but you, you ain't supposed to rob people you know. You suppose. This ain't hey, the mafia, growing bro. Growing up in Third Ward, you knew who to turn around and walk the other way. Hey, this, this is, is not true. the mafia. <laughs> who was the but fifth? I also got stalled out because certain people who, knew me. Who was the fifth you ward? Did, who was the fifth ward? Somebody was, yeah. Somebody yeah, look, was It was certain out. places that I couldn't take you gentlemen with me. <laughs> Whatever. You absolutely you take right. take me anywhere. I'm good in every MLK. Man, I was MLK. passing by the CUNY homes the other day and I was giving the boys a tour. Oh, God. I'm good in every MLK. You went in there? Dang, nah, I didn't mean? go. I've yeah, gone in there with them before, but no, I didn't tour, go in there. I have said I was giving them a tour. tour riding by. I was literally giving them a tour of the hood because you know, like they didn't really grow up in there. Yeah, like we did. So you know, you, I took them out. I took them through N- Nellington Park and you know Dodge City, the Kenny Homes, and they was kind of took like, them to Kelly Quartz. That's in Fifth Ward. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's you gotta show them all sides of the world, bro. Right. You, so, took them, you took I'm, them to the mission. That's your problem, man. Too the missionary. Yeah, they've seen the missionary before. Yes, they have. Take them inside. They've gone to South Lawn and then they they've been told some stories about South Lawn. So yeah, they got. My a question is, tour. who is the fifth ward bully? You talking about how did they know it's Mike Tyson? Who's the fifth ward bully? Who is the fifth ward bully? Yeah, no, you know who. Is. Who yes, Willie D? Be. No. Who no, the he's also ward? a boxer. He used to beat up people. George Foreman. Oh, George Foreman. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> George Foreman. So that, that's well, exactly. that's kind of hard to miss the 6'4", 300-pound dude who can hey, this kid's literally knock old. you off your feet. Mike Tyson okay. was eight years small, old and bro, had muscles like he was 6'4". Yeah. As a kid. That's what, they, Mike Ty, that's what made Mike Tyson so good at 18. He was a yeah, grown know. man already. I bet that's you the good guitar player pieces. from Archie Bell and the Drells would be like, you know, when I was... George Foreman robbed me. <laughs> oh, you got to ask Rebby about George Foreman. Oh, my Little God. Little Joe Washington. Yeah, George ask Rebby and me. Ernest about Joe Foreman. Willie D say he was I the get-hit man. <laughs> George Foreman. I'll always be the hit man. Oh, man. 
uh, I Mike thought that's Tyson's where you selling go. cannabis now. Yeah, man. Yeah. And has a very successful. Mm, I mean, it's Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson business going. And and, and it's also a, and it's also cannabis. Yeah, he has a <laughs> festival. Would you would you not, really would you not buy weed from Mike Tyson? I would not buy I weed. Period. Bet you would. Because he'll knock you out. You better buy this weed. Good answer. He'll knock you out. Like, uh, like I call this that Mike Tyson. Right, right. <laughs> no, he's like this. This sleep. right here is that Larry Holmes. <laughs> just like in the movie. You take one hit of this. <laughs> this, is what I, this is what I did to Larry Holmes. Right like, here. I want an eighth of Mitch Green. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, give me a quarter of that Bruce Seldon. Oh man, that Bruce Seldon fight was <laughs> ridiculous. Bruce yeah. Seldon uh, act like did you, when you see him get hit. Bruce Seldon, he gets hit so hard yeah. that he doesn't even know he has gotten hit. <laughs> he just all of a sudden just drops because he gets hit and he's standing there. And then he just, boom, and you go, whoa, it's wait, like, like I a, thought you ate that. Like a chicken with a head. He's like, like, yeah, he ate it all right. He yeah. ate it. <laughs> Yeah, Bruce Seldon was the one guy who I saw him walk into the ring and I saw real fear in his eyes. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he was afraid of Mike Tyson. He was just afraid. I saw that to be Peter there, McNeely's. Uh, what no, one? Peter McNeely was trying. What, was he trying? He was trying. That boy looked so scared when he walked, when he was standing there. And uh, they were introducing Mike Tyson. He was just standing there waiting and everything. And yeah. That boy's eyes was like. Peter McNeely. Big as day. Like yeah. praying, like, Lord, let me make it out of here live. It was like if Mark Madsen was in there fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Peter McNeely. Yeah, that's I twisted part of my knee. <laughs> What's the score of the Toronto game? I, th- I think it's too hot for this internet to work. It, too, it, it, it is, is wilding out. Is that what's going on Everything's today? Everything's going mad yeah. slow, yo. Mad, mad slow, slow, yo? Yeah. I, 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 yeah B. I watched all four parts like Thursday night. So oh, really? 36 yeah, to 30, 36 minutes. Atomatomic lead. Yeah, Sausage, velocity, and hypotheses. Yeah. I'll be rocking these mockeries. Toronto is up 36 to 30, 36 minutes left. It's good to see old, dirt, uh, old clips of old dirty bastards. Yeah, and that, uh, man, they took a lot of footage too back yeah, then. Yeah, they did. They, Gucci, they, 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 they documented yeah, their Yeah, their they run. documented their journey very well. It was, well these uh, boys is all over. It was well put together. You got to understand, man, Wu-Tang, the only ones who was rocking with Wu-Tang until Wu-Tang was Wu-Tang was Wu-Tang. Yeah. Well, and that, that was like hurt. already 100 people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, already was. Remember, that, Ghostface, had, he was Ghostface because he couldn't show his face because he still had a case. I understand, but they, these boys got on the Source Awards. And took over the stage. Nobody at that East West. That's when the East West beef died down for a little bit. Yeah, it did. Cause it was, it was like everybody was like Robert Hood, and it's like Wu Tang's about to perform. Everybody's like, okay. Yeah. Oh, have you heard Red Man tell a story about that though? He was like, man, we was deep. We didn't kill. We didn't care. And then we came across MC Hammer and was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the MC Hammer. The MC Hammer stories are some great. They stories. was like, boys thought Hammer was soft. Nah. And Hammer didn't, he say, Hammer bought none. It faded all. Like, well, the MC Search stuff with Hammer. He was like, you, who want it? Yeah. MC like, Hammer had like 200 people too. Absolutely. And he's straight out of Oak Town. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Ben has joined and he says, Hadar knows nothing about the Woo. Oh, get <laughs> out of here. Ben, boy, you boy. And he says, Linux over Wilder. But of course. That's in, what we in, say. In all caps, Hadar knows nothing about the Woo. So whatever, dude. Get out of here. Boy, boy, you almost made me act up Thanks on this Thanks for joining, though, Ben. So Feel ben, free to call in. That number is 713-489-0688. That was 713-489-0688. So now, I'm gonna, since, since you got Lennox all the way, then let's go. Lennox or Riddick Bow, who you got? Ben, Lennox or Riddick Bow? Riddick Bow was such a uh, short. It was short. I mean, Riddick Bow could box, though. Yeah, I couldn't, ball. though. I mean, I mean, for like two years, Riddick Bow was the man. Yeah, that's why it was, he was very, his his run was very But short. he's another guy that just lost his mind. Is he the one that threw the belt <laughs> away when they was like, you gotta fight uh, yeah, Holyfield? No, when he had to fight the mandatory, he didn't want to. Yeah, he threw his belt away. And that was against Holyfield. That was no, because he fought Holyfield twice. Did he? Amaya yeah. says Lennox lost? would win. Yeah, he does. He Against Riddick Bo? Lennox uh, over Riddick Bo, according to Hamad. Ben, who you got, man? Lennox's head was Wilder over shot, Klitschko. Man. Yeah, that's not even, that's I mean, not even a question. Is it really? Uh, hey. I don't know. 
I, that's what I'm saying. The Klitschko's had a long run. Klitschko, long yeah, that's because the, the division was weak. And then once Wilder you came up. You can say that about Wilder. Once Wilder came up, no, that's what I'm saying. Once Wilder came up, came up, the Klitschko boys, hmm. Yeah, but they were 42 and 43. Yeah, they, right they were old, though, weren't they? Yeah. Tyson, Tyson Fury. Tyson, Tyson. <laughs> hey, Tyson Fury. Tyson, hey, it Tyson, was a draw. Tyson, 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 Tyson Fury got into that, that them deep Wait. waters. Ah, where is it? They got oh, into the deep waters. And then. Ah! Keep calling, man. Keep calling. Somebody called? I don't I think so, because he's struggling with something. And I can't find it. struggling with that phone. Dude. I thought we had the phones figured out. Uh, what? It worked for one caller. Nadari said he wouldn't call buy. Call back. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call him back? Nadari said he wouldn't buy no we weed from, from uh, Mike back. Tyson, but I it seemed like he, he bought something from somebody. What? Oh, that's them, that's them uh, drugs your doctors gave you for your back, huh? Oh, hey, man. Look here. Let me tell you something about <laughs> these here, bro. <laughs> it's real, girl. I'm going to show right? you how I know this is amazing, right? They were only four milligrams. Ben say Linux beats both. Call back, Ben. I look, they were four milligrams, bro. My wife gave me three. I sat there for That's a second. That's twelve milligrams. And before I knew it, I was like, That's twelve milligrams. I start getting looping. Whoo! Yeah. So I said, Hey, uh, I think I'm gonna go light out. Was it the year of the Geechee? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then so look, I went and laid down, right? <laughs> that's a, that, that's, that's I would have laid down and my way. wife finally came to bed. She said it, she thought a bear was in there. <laughs> she oh, said, you snoring so she loud. said, I thought you was hibernating. You was snoring so loud. Dude, how you, uh, it's been that long yeah, since you you've partied, bro. I was gonna say, when's the last time you took a pill? Yeah, Man, it's, it's no. I've never taken partied. a pill. This stuff that's on never, the market now. No, never. what pill I'm telling you? You said it like you know something. You know something I don't know. So what you yeah, he done crushed it up a couple of times and put it in your in the the department. Well, what about when you ripped your knee was up? What was you I wasn't taking that. Who was you on the you on the phone? Man, I don't want to hear all that. You ain't gotta give me you ain't gotta give me the radio voice, dog. You ain't gotta do all that. Right, Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? The RC's is off to go live his hoop dreams. Hey, man, or, you know, or hey, let it die. you know, I'm straight. Hey. You know I'm straight from Third War. Nah, you okay. already know. Carbondale. Third War surges over Get here. You from Carbondale by where? Lux, uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Stop it. Hey, listen. I done been in Houston long and I lived in my own city. Yeah, and thank you. You, you welcome. Because cool. if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have made it. Ohio Valley Conference. <laughs> I appreciate Hey, listen. Some, of, some, some people stay down, you know, and die. We got stories. We got history. Don't take me back to Greystone. You feel me? And <laughs> you ain't never seen me pop no pill. I don't know what you talking about. Yeah, hey, we, hey, we, hey, we got many stories together. I'm not saying you was doing the bad thing. Oh, okay. You've been on right. many trips with your boy. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Yeah, you right. Oh, why why are you bringing this up on the air right now? Anyway, what you want to talk about? <laughs> listen, listen. Don't don't be a prisoner of the moment with Deontay Wilder. Don't oh, do not. it. Nobody. I don't know what y'all talking about earlier. Man got a hell of a punch. Got a hell of a punch. But outside of that, come on. Yeah, he got yeah. fight change of power. Fight change of power. And he's not a good boxer. No, he's not, not a, a good boxer. boxer. But they said that against when he fought um Fury. What's my man? No, when he no, he got out boxed against Fury. Yeah, but he, what, he what was my man from, from Canada. Ortiz? No, from Canada. The one from Canada. Who? Uh the one he dropped. He couldn't, the first, it went to decision the first time and then he dropped him the second time. What's my man? Oh, you're talking about Bermain Stavern. Come on now. Oh, Bermain Stavern was a hype job. Come on. I never, I never, you never buy in. He, he lost the Fury. Yeah, if you he keep did. it real. He did. He, he did. He did. Lose the he did. The fight is scored by round. Uh, I don't know. know. I don't know if he lost. Man, he the lost the Fury. He lost the no. Fury. If it wasn't for that knockdown, they, yeah, man, yeah. please. But you he have to count the knockdown. Yeah, but he lost You have to count it. He got. That's what got you him that even. Two, knockdown, two knockdowns give him four rounds. Two Pretty knockdowns much. give you four rounds. Pretty much, because if you win two rounds now, by now, two points. But now, the last, was it the last knockdown? The last knockdown, Fury came back and was tagging him. He yeah, left he that round. He, he woke but up. I don't give, but I don't give 10 nine rounds on a knockdown. You get knocked down straight in it. Straight in it. Absolutely. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is he could have fought Joshua. Why he ain't fight Joshua, though? 
Because he don't want it with Joshua. He want the money. Oh, okay. We're like, on the same page. We're on the same oh, page. Oh, yeah. He don't want it with I, Joshua. I, I he think he's country and scared to get on a plane over this. Nah, to I don't think. <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not saying he's scared of Joshua because I don't think no fighter is scared of anybody. Like a guy used to say all day at TSU, we ain't got numbers facing up to We ain't got numbers facing up to you. I don't know what What I'm saying about, about him is I don't know he got people about. behind him who might not want to risk if he lose Anthony Joshua, then the money trained out. Not that he generates a lot of money, but I mean, Anthony Joshua did. They did offer him 120 million dollars for four fights. Who? Four fights. And Joshua didn't want that. No, no, no. Wilder didn't want that. Oh, oh, Anthony Joshua offered Wilder 120 yes. million. Anthony Joshua is signed to the Zone, the app. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So he, Eddie Hearn said, "You come fight with us." The first fight would be against Dominique Brazil, the guy he fought last night. He said, I'll pay you twenty million. Wilder made nine point eight million last night. He could have made twenty if he would have signed with his own. So he would have made twenty versus Dominique Brazil. He would have made twenty versus the uh the next guy he's gonna fight. See, he's gonna fight this dude named Adam Kawanaki, whatever his name is. Look him up. He's a Polish guy. He can fight, but he's just a slugger. Mm-hmm. And it was for it was for an Anthony Joshua fight. Forty million and forty million. He turned down the money. He's on record saying it. One hundred twenty million for four fights. He turned it down. But where where did they want him to fight though? Because you know I'm not. The fight is going to take. The fight is going to take place overseas. Yeah, that's why. Why shouldn't it? You think it should take place here? I think that's why he don't want to go. He doesn't want to leave. I mean, but you're gonna sell out a hundred thousand if you go to Wembley. Why wouldn't you? Your gate is going to be crazy over there. Does he get a fair shot over there though? If he knocks the man out, yes. Is it going to decision? No, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Exactly. I mean, if it does, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a draw. Because right, but do you think that Wilder's going to go? I mean, I believe if Wilder fights Joshua, somebody's going to. Oh, somebody's definitely going out. Right. So, I mean, I understand. Now, they say now after he just fought, well, before he fought Brazil, he said he won $100 million for an uh, Anthony Joshua fight. Talk about pricing yourself out. A hundred million dollars. He won a hundred million dollars for Anthony Joshua. That's what he said. So does he really want to fight? I don't think so. He just made ten million last night. All right. He made about ten million for Fury after the after the pay per view. Come on. He don't want to fight. And look, the next fight is going to be against Ortiz's rematch. Yeah. No. They, they, yeah, they, and then he's going to fight Kawanaki, the, the little Polish guy. Man, they got Al Heyman got his whole career set up. Don't sleep on Al Heyman. Al Heyman got these boys doing whatever they want. You can never, blame sports. Look, you can blame never, Floyd Mayweather for that. I have never slept on Al Heyman. Yeah. I, Al Heyman that's is why, the puppet master. Yeah, that's exactly. why what's his name is beefing with them right now. Who, Bob Aaron? Bob Aaron. That's not beef. That's just whatever. That boy said boycott all <laughs> Al Heyman. He said uh, boycott all Al Heyman. But now Floyd Mayweather got these guys thinking, hey, if we can avoid the fight, avoid the fight, and we make more money. Everybody's not Floyd Mayweather. Exactly. No, not. At a point in time, Madari didn't like Floyd Mayweather too too much. I didn't, but he gained my respect. Hey, hey, Ben, you see your boy uh 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 B Hop is Dr. B Hop? Well, that was an honorary degree. Uh, <laughs> so was Bill Cosby. And look, and, and, and Jay Prince too. Jay yeah. Prince just got one too. Uh, I thought he I thought he actually did some uh, some No else. man, you know be when our house can barely read. <laughs> but I mean, I appreciate the I appreciate the boxing record. You know, fight night was the last time I used to knock said boy over there out. You know, man, at get mama's off, house. Get off, get, off, get, off, get, get off my line, man. Hey, we gotta get out of here. I appreciate the love, brother. Already, keep up with me. For sure. Yes, sir. So now you are listening to the Garage Apartment. Did anybody watch? Uh, we are the here horses each run? and every Sunday night from six to no, seven I Central Standard Time. That. What was the Belmont? Be today? sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Preakness. Facebook. No, it's Subscribe yeah, to our YouTube channel oh, yeah. <laughs> and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Again, make sure you check us out next week. We'll have former NFL player Wade Smith on the show. Yes, sir. As always, man, y'all be good. If you can't be good, then be good at it, man. Stay blessed. We love you. Holla. And I guess we'll get the baseball a week after that. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Because, you know, it is going on. Yeah. Absolutely. And the Astros are back at it. The Astros again. kicking butt. 
too, man. Right. They ain't playing no games. Jesus. Holla. Holla. <laughs> <laughs>